Hello, so my name's Lauren, and today I want to talk about drone data, a powerful tool in landfill management. And the question that I want to leave with you today is, is this one. Is it time to take advantage of drone technology to achieve best practice landfill management? So what's the big, th what's the big deal about drones anyway? Well, it's not actually about drones. What it is about is data and insights that can drive business outcomes. A lot of people get caught up with drones, but at the end of the day, they're just a platform. They're a tool for collecting data, and it's what you do with the data that matters. And today, it's never been easier and more affordable to collect rich data about your site. And it's data and information that's actionable, which is really important. So where is drone technology already being used? So it's being used in a range of applications across a range of different sectors. So what you can see on screen there is a few different applications and industry, industries where we've been using drones. I won't go through in detail because we don't have time, but there's surveying and mapping, environmental monitoring, construction, and of course, agriculture. And the rate of uptake in all these industries is increasing all the time. So it's becoming quite normal to use drones at an operational level. So why are drones being used? So there's a few key reasons. First of all, it's safe. Because we can survey from the air, we don't have to walk across the trash um, or get in the way of day-to-day -day operations. It's accurate. So we can achieve five centimetre ground accuracy um, if we follow the right processes. It's comprehensive. We can scan an entire site very rapidly. And once you've got that scan data in, you can measure anything that you can see with a few clicks of a mouse button. It's now accessible, so you no longer need expensive CAD or GIS software. Anyone with a web browser can actually use drone data. Uh, it's a bit of a game changer. And of course, it's affordable. Okay, so we can see that drones are being used across a, a range of industries, so how do we apply that to landfill? So today, I want to give an example of a uh, landfill site that we surveyed in Queensland. So we, we put the drone up, we scanned the site, and we created a 3D model of that site, um, a digital replica, if you will. And that digital replica gives us a very detailed portray portrayal of surface change across that whole site. And so today I want to demonstrate powerful tools via the uh, Propeller web platform and how we can apply that to landfill management in a very practical way. So the first thing that we can talk about is remaining airspace calculation. So we can automatically calculate volume between top of the waste surface and a design surface for that fully constructed cell. And we can do that extremely easily. Once that design is in the system, it's automatically checked with every drone survey that we do. So obviously this is really good for managing the life of the, of the, of the cell and getting the most out of the investment. So this is a quick animation now to show you what this 3D calculation looks like when you're running it through the web. So you can see that the digital replica of the site is completely realistic. It's essentially like Google Earth times a thousand. And so you can see the shape of the volume that is calculated there, the blue area, and you can see underneath that's the top contour of the, of the landfill cell. So it's taking into account the design and the actual top of surface to get that accurate volume of airspace. Keeping landfill sites close to the design. So another thing that we can easily do is drop a cross section across anywhere on site, a line across site, and get a cross section that compares the top of waste, waste to that design surface. So what you can see in that image is you can see a white line that I've drawn across the actual site in the top part of that image. And in the bottom section, you can see the cross section. So the orange line is the top of waste surface and the white line is the design surface. So we can very quickly track the cell as it's being constructed towards that design surface, which gives us the ability to actively manage the site you know, before we have issues of overfill which then become costly to remedy after the fact if you've gone past the design. So here's another, another tool that's also 
to the same ends. Um, this is essentially a dynamic cut and fill map. Everywhere you can see blue is is like you know deep ocean. You've got lots of airspace available in those blue sections. Where it's light blue, you're running out of airspace, and where it's orange, you've actually exceeded um, the design. So in this case, it's only exceeding by about 10 centimetres, so it's not a big deal. But it gives you an idea of how easy it is to get a snapshot across the cell to know where you've got airspace remaining. So again, this is just a visualisation of using that web interface for um, looking at that cell. So with a few clicks, you can pull up the design surface, and right now you can see a live feedback of the airspace. It's hovering above the mouse there. So it's a very um, intuitive tool. Tracking and maximising waste compaction density. So when we do regular drone scans, say we're scanning once per month, we can measure the top of the surface from one month and compare it to the top of the surface in the next month. So when we compare those two surfaces, we can get a volume that's gone into that area for that month. Now, if we combine that with the Weybridge tonnage for the month, we, get actu we can actually calculate the compaction density that's gone into that area. So I'll just play this animation to help you visualise what that looks like. So there's surface one at one point in time and surface two. So it's the same area. We can instantly get a, um, a volume readout on how much fill has gone into that sp spot. And then simply by multiplying the volume by the um, by doing the calculation with the volume of waste, that's the, the mass of waste that's gone in there, we can work out the compaction density that's been achieved. So again, that's going to help you maximise your investment and get the most out of your site. Soil balance inventory. So we can easily measure um, surface area across the top of waste. In this image you can see I've, I've quickly drawn a polygon around the waste surface area and by knowing that area, we can quickly work out how much soil cover we need for that daily cover requirement, which is useful for managing, managing soil inventory. Elevation contours in high resolution. So I've put this one in there to help you understand the resolution of elevation data that we can get from a drone scan. Compared, compared to traditional surveying, where you might pick up an elevation point once every 20 metres or once every 10 metres, we're literally getting hundreds of points per square metre to the point that you get a continuous um, elevation of the surface. And it's very accurate because we tie it to survey datums like Australian height datum. So once we've got that high resolution elevation data, there's a few uh, cool things that we can do, like flood modelling. So we can visualise flooding extent for any given water level across the site. So simply by entering in a water level, you get an instant represent representation of what that will look like on your site. And you can even measure how much volume of water will be sitting on your site in that particular flood event. And that's a very easy calculation to do. Gradient mapping. So measuring the gradient of any surface on your cell is just a matter of a few clicks through a web browser. So there you can see I've, I've drawn a line and at each segment of that line you've got a percent gradient. Now it becomes really powerful when we use uh, colour coding to automatically highlight areas that are exceeding specified limits. So if you know that you have to stay within a certain grade on your cell and you want to track that you're not exceeding that grade, you can colorize every gradient on your site so you can instantly visualize where you're exceeding that limit. So in this case, you know, the red color means that you're you're approaching that limit. Powerful zoom functionality. So everyone knows that with drone data you get high resolution images. When we scan a site, you get a high resolution image of your entire site with incredibly powerful zoom functionality. So this, this kind of rich visual information is really good for understanding how your site's being used and for giving context and helping you um, understand and have insights into the way your site's being used as time progresses. 
So every time we do a drone scan, we capture the site, and then we can actually run a timeline. So if you want to look at any part of your site and see how it's behaving through time, we can actually run a timeline. So I'll show you what that looks like. So in this instance, we can visually see that um, that pond has successfully captured all the runoff without it overflowing into perhaps an environmentally sensitive area. So you can pick any part of your site and run a visual timeline over it and that might help with compliance reporting because you've got visual proof of what your site's been doing through time. Okay, so we've got this rich 3D model from the drone scan. A very powerful thing that we can do is to actually insert annotations and notes directly into that 3D model and those notes hold their position in that model. So if there are hazards on site, you can actually annotate them into the model. And every time there's another scan, that annotated area will be automatically updated with the new scan data from the most recent drone scan. So you don't even have to reinsert them. So a 3D model that you can insert notes into like this could be very powerful for, for compliance for morning toolbox meetings, so everyone can gather around and see where the current hazards are on the site without having to walk across the trash. And it could also be useful for um, staff inductions to understand the site. Okay, is it affordable? So this is always the big question. As with most disruptive technologies, things are expected to get faster, easier and more economical. And I think that's, that's the case here as well. So I've, I've, I've stuck my head out there and um, put a few numbers up there to give an idea of, of costs. So what we're talking about here is an end-to-end -end solution that includes sending a licensed drone pilot to site to do the survey, to process that into a 3D model, and then to have access to those measurement tools and give that to the landfill operators themselves. So it truly is an end-to-end -end solution so I hope that gives you an understanding of the, of the value that's available with this kind of technology. Okay, so the data from the 3D model can also feed into site reports. So because we have a very rich 3D data set and these tools that we can interrogate the, the site with, we can share this information very easily with third parties. We can collaborate so easily just by sending a link via an email a third party person can open up the landfill site and start reporting on it. So all of a sudden you've opened up these collaborative opportunities. So um, we're working with Acacia Waste at the moment and so they can produce a report for us. I won't go th through all the details of that there, it's in the presentation if you want to have a look later. But that, that report, um, a lot of that information can come straight from that drone survey and it becomes a very economical report because the information is at the fingertips of a third party collaborator. Okay, landfill gas detection via drone survey. So this is an area that we're, we're still developing but it's holding a lot of promise. So we can systematically scan for hot spots indicative of a gas emission across a whole site. And we can do that very efficiently. We can scan a whole site in half an hour, including the hard to reach areas. So I'll give you a bit of a, a, bit of a sneak peek of what that looks like from the drone's point of view. This is what the drone pilot will see when he's actually scanning the site. It's a bit loud, isn't it? It sounds like a jumbo. So this is looking down, you can see a car and you can see two people running around. That's the drone following a pre-programmed flight path across the site. So it's a systematic scan, it's not a random flight. And we can very quickly detect hot spots. The sensors that we can use can detect within 0.1 of a degree. There's another hot spot. So that's my colleague there going out to the hot spot then to check um, if there's gas coming out. So at the moment we're using this as an investigative tool prior to undertaking more comprehensive ground measurements. 
So in conclusion, uh, I would like to assert that um, drone data is a powerful tool for landfill management. It's a powerful decision support tool. It can streamline compliance reporting. We can automatically track change over time, which is very powerful. It gives us the ability to proactively manage landfill operations um, to reduce operating costs. Thank you very much.